Hello everyone! In this video, we will be writing polynomial function given two real roots and two complex roots. Before we go through this example right here, let's have a review on zeros or roots of a function. Zeros or roots of a function are values of x that causes the function to be equal to zero. Now, there are some notations how roots are written in some problems. So in some problems, they write it this way. The roots are 5, negative 3, 2i, 3 plus minus i. In some problems as well, they write it differently. So they write like x is equal to 5. They also write this as x is equal to negative 3. x is equal to 2i and x is equal to 3 plus i and then this is also the other one since it's plus and minus so that would also be x is equal to 3 minus i now if we want to change these roots here into its factored form we are going to use the zero product property backwards so we can go ahead and rewrite this as x minus 5 in parentheses, which means that if we equal this to 0, then we add 5 from both sides plus 5 from both sides. That's how we got x is equal to 5. So pretty much we switch the sign of this and that would be in factored form. So in this next root right here, we can go ahead and write this as x plus 3. And this one right here can be written as x minus 2i. And this one right here, in factored form, we can write this as x minus 3 plus i. And then that's the other one here is x minus 3 minus i. So this is how we change the roots into its factored form. So pretty much the trick is if we are given the roots in either of these notation, all we need to do is to switch the sign of the root, put it next to the x, and put these two binomial inside the parentheses. Okay, going back to the example that we have here, we are expected to write a polynomial function whose roots are 1, negative 3, and 2, negative i. So looking at these roots right here, we can rewrite these roots into this notation. So that's going to be x is equal to um, 1, and then that could also be x is equal to negative 3. And for this one right here, we remember the complex conjugate root theorem, which states that if a plus bi is a root of a polynomial function, then its complex conjugate a minus bi is also a root of the polynomial. So in this case right here, we are going to get the conjugate of this, and that would also be the root of the polynomial. So that means that the other root would be x is equal to, that's going to be 2 minus i, and it's Complex conjugate, which when we say conjugate, you just have to switch the sign of the bi part. So the other uh, uh, root would also be x is equal to 2 plus i. So what I did was I switched the bi part, uh, the negative, and I, I have this positive here. Even though we are given only one complex root right here, the complex conjugate root theorem tells us that its conjugate is also... A, a root of the polynomial. So 2 plus i is also one of the roots. So then from here, we can go ahead and change this to its factored form using the zero product property backwards. So this one can um, come out to be the x minus 1. So if you use the zero product property backwards, this would be x minus 1. So I'll give you the trick. So the trick is just to switch the sign. So if that is a positive 1, so then this is x minus 1. So then this one right here, since this is a negative 3, we use the 0 product property backwards. This is going to come out x plus 3. And then this one right here, this is going to come out x minus 2 minus i. So what I did was I switched and keep. So I switched the sign of the positive 2. It becomes a negative 2. And then the same thing for this. So this would come out x switch. That's a negative 2 and keep plus i. So what I did here was I um, switch and so that's x minus 1. I switch, so that is x plus 3. I switch and keep, so that is x minus 2 minus i. I switched and keep, so that is minus 2 plus i. 
The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to multiply all these. So we're going to start by multiplying these uh, two right here. So if let's use the area model to multiply these two. So I'm going to show the work up here. So I'm going to use a two by two box. So I'm going to show the two by two box right here. And the ones that I need to write on the box would be that's X minus one. And then the other one is X plus three. So then I'm going to multiply these. So that would be X squared three X negative X negative three. So then if we uh, simplify this, we remember that these two are like terms, so we can add these two together. So this would come out X squared three X plus negative X is two X. And then we have a negative three. So this, um, this two right here will come out to this. So that is X squared plus 2x minus 3. Now I'm going to uh, multiply these 3 right here. So that's the first one that we did. We show the work right here. Now we are going to multiply these 2. So I'm going to show the work right here. Since we have uh, 3 terms, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to use a 3 by 3 box. And then the one that we write would be these. So that is x minus 2 minus i and that is x minus 2 plus i so then we're going to multiply this so this would be x squared and then negative 2x that is xi this is negative 2x positive 4 negative 2i negative xi positive 2i because you have a negative and a negative makes it positive and we have a negative i squared so then we go ahead and remember that these two are opposite so we can cross this out since they become zero these two are opposite we cross them out they become zero so then we can simplify the rest of this here now remember that these two are like terms so then we can go ahead and simplify this as x squared that's going to be um, negative 4x, and then we have a 4, so that's a plus 4, and then we have a minus i squared. Now, we remember that i squared is equal to negative 1, so we plug in the negative 1 right there, so this becomes x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus negative 1. So then I can go ahead and simplify this as um, it's going to be x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 1 because you have a negative times a negative is a positive. So then this is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5. So this is the product of these two right here. So this is going to this is the uh, first one the product of the first two, and this is the product of the next two. So that is x squared minus 4x plus 5. So then we are going to multiply these two together. So the dimension of the box that we're going to use would be a 3 by 3 box again. So I'm going to show the uh, work down here. Okay, so the one that I write on the box would be this one's right here. So I'm going to write x squared 2x minus 3, x squared negative 4x, and then that's a 5. So then I'm going to um, multiply this. Okay, so I multiplied these and came up with these values inside the um, box. Now we are going to remember that these two are like terms. They're to the third power. These three are like terms. And these two are like terms. So then we can go ahead and simplify this to be that's going to come out. The f of x is equal to that's going to be x to the fourth. So that's the first one that we see. Then we're going to add negative 4x cubed plus 2x cubed is a negative 2x cubed. So 5x squared plus negative 8x squared plus negative 3x squared would come out a negative 6x squared. 
and then we have 10x plus 12x would be 22x and then we have a left over of minus 15. So this one right here is the polynomial function with these roots right here. 1, negative 3, 2 plus i and 2 minus i. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!